ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ನಿಮಿಲಾ ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿನ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆದಂಥ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಲಾರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ನ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೀ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಈವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸೆವೆರಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲಾರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ಲೇ ಬೇರ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೇರ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಹೂ ಬಿಡುವಂಥ ಸಸ್ಯವನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಹೂವು ಈ ಪ್ರಜನನದ ಅಂಗವಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ರೀಜಿಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಗೈನೀಜಿಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ so this is a flower wherein this is the ovary and the sepal which is a leaf like structure and this is the petal or the corolla and this is a style stigma and then filament and anther now andrigium so andrigium consists of whorls of stamen and the stamen consists of filament which is long slender stalk and anther which is bilobed structure and filament is attached to the thalamus or to the petal now anther it is a typical bilobed and each lobe is dithecus which consists of two theca which is a inner and exterior outer theca so theca are separated by longitudinal grooves which run lengthwise so ile enagutte ee theca eradu longitudinal grooves ninda separate maadalagutte now microsporangia is located at the corners two at each theca and they are further going to develop into pollen sacs which contain the pollen grains so this is how it happens is the filament which is the stalk and anther pollen sacs pollen grains and line of the dicens so now structure of the microsporangium the microsporangium is surrounded by four wall layers which is epidermis endothecium middle layers and the tapetum so outer three layers are protective and they help in the digestion of the anther to release pollen grains and now the tapetum will provide nourishment to the developing pollen grains and in younger anthers the sporangium tissue forms the center of each microsporangium so this is the diagrammatic view now coming to microsporogenesis which is the process of formation of microspores from the pollen mother cells so it is the formation of the male gametophytes from pollen mother cells now as development occurs in anther the sporangineous tissues will undergo meiosis to form microspore tetrads so each cell sporangia each cell of sporangineous tissue has capacity to give rise to a tetrad and hence each cell is potential pollen or pmc now as anther matures the microspores will get detached from each other and develop into pollen grains so that tetrad tetrad structure will develop into a single pollen grain each now pollen grains they represent male gametes and are spherical having a two layered wall which is exine outer wall hard layer which is made up of sporopollenin which is extremely resistant and can withstand high temperatures acidic alkalic ph sorry phs conditions and enzymes and intine which is the inner layer thin and continuous layer made up of cellulosic wall and pectin so now mature mature pollen grain will consist of two cells again a vegetative cell and a generative cell so vegetative is large with irregular nucleus and it contain food reserves and generative cells are small and it will float in the cytoplasm of the vegetative cell now in 60% of the angiosperms pollen grains are shed at two cell stages so eradu bere bere hantadalli adu bitkolutte while in other generative cells undergoes mitosis to form two male gametes which is three st- cell stage now the viability of pollen grains after they are shed will depend upon the temperature and the humidity so it will range from 30 minutes to few months 